Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today Google released Android 14 beta 2 and I'm installing it right now on my Pixel 7 Pro to show you each and every new change so without further ado let's jump in let's go through the build number and the size really quick here on the 7 Pro the build number is upb2.230407.014 and the update size is 544 megabytes let's start with the lock screen and always on display on the right I have the 7 Pro running beta 2 and on the left I have the 6a running beta 1 the first difference you will see is in the at a glance widget first you will see a bigger gap between the date and the widget secondly there is no graphics for the weather info and also the details are written in a different way now it shows a title for the type of information it says here daily forecast which is not the case in the previous build and also the text is shorter and lastly the extra icons you might have on your lock screen like the do not disturb and alarm are now showing next to the date instead of being in a separate line and i also see bigger gaps between the icons the font of the at a glance widget is also noticeably smaller when compared to beta 1 and by the way the at a glance info showing on the always on display or lock screen is different from what shows on the home screen now it matches beta 1 but once you lock the device it will show you a different style moving to the lock screen now the unlocking keypad got some changes first when you start typing the numbers you will see different shapes showing on the screen instead of the actual number you are typing plus the dots are now much thicker now let's talk about the home screen and the first change when you start scrolling through your home screen pages you will see these new pagination dots that looks much better when compared to the thin bar that appears in the previous versions the second change is the overlay menus in your home screen got a new bouncy animation so as an example when i expand the home screen overlay menu as you see the animation looks much better now in beta 2 and the same applies to the app shortcuts and google search widget and lastly the at a glance now let's talk about the app shortcuts as they got a complete redesign you will see two separate sections now one to include the app info pause app and widgets which are the three options that will never change but any other option related to the app will appear in its own section the second change is the notifications of the app will no longer appear in the app shortcuts and lastly this small handle that appears next to each option is no longer showing but you still can do the same thing of pinning any of the so shortcuts to your home screen the google search widget preferences now takes you to the search your phone menu instead of the google app settings now let's go to the home screen settings to show you one more change now when you go to search your phone the page is slightly different the text at the top has been removed and also there is a new toggle here called device results that didn't exist before next we have the wallpaper and the style app i didn't see any of the changes google mentioned in the io keynote but there are some small tweaks like the reappearance of the monochrome color under the basic colors category the second thing i noticed is the slightly different wallpaper colors collection after installing beta 2 so if i have the same wallpaper on beta 1 it has different color palettes when compared to beta 2 but other than this it works exactly the same and now it's time for today's sponsor if you are interested to purchase original windows 10 and office keys head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below then apply my special promo code id20 to get extra 25 percent discount windows 10 oem key will cost you 16.23 dollars which is very affordable to complete your purchase choose your preferred payment method input the details and once the payment is done you will be redirected to the orders screen to view your code click on the view keys slash codes button then click on get the key to activate your windows 10 oem key copy the code from the website head over to your windows settings then system scroll all the way down and click on about then product key and the activation and finally click on a change paste the code in the text field and click on next then activate and now your original windows key got activated for more offers please check the links in the description below and now let's get back to the review now let's talk about the quick settings area and it only got one change which is the new font size tile that will allow you to change the device font size without the need to go to settings now let me show you some random tweaks here and there that i spotted while using the phone the first one is the clipboard pop-up so for example when you try to copy text you will see a minimized pop-up if your keyboard 
is activated. But if the keyboard is not showing, you will not get this minimized pop-up. It will work exactly the same as beta one. And I also noticed that my phone stopped connecting to 5G after installing Android 14 beta 2. Now let's talk about the differences under settings. And the first one is in notifications. And when you go to flash notifications on both, you will see a new graphical representation for the feature, but it works exactly the same. Next under battery and then battery saver. When you go to the extreme battery saver settings, you will see some new changes. First, the font is bigger and to remove any of the apps, you have an X button instead of a checkbox and the essential apps that you cannot remove doesn't have anything next to them. And when you scroll down, you will see a plus button instead of a checkbox as well. Next under display and then the screen resolution, you will see a new design for the graphics at the top. And for reference, here is how it used to look like in the previous versions. Next, we have security and the privacy. And here you will see some visual tweaks, starting with the icon is now different. And when you go inside the menus, you will see different graphical representation as well for each and every page. And the button at the top now supports material U instead of using the old design. But when you scroll down and go to privacy, you will see a new menu here called data sharing updates for location. And the description says review apps that it changed the way they may share your location data. So if any of these apps changed the policy of collecting your location data, you will see the updates over here. Next under system, you will see that the language and input menu is now separated into two different ones. One is called languages and the other one is called keyboard. There is no difference in the functionality. They work exactly the same. You might see some name changes here, but that's pretty much it. And finally, when you go to the developer options, you will see a new menu here called contrast, which will allow you to adjust the display contrast by choosing between three different choices. The first one is a standard. Then we have medium or high. Once you make the choice, tap on done and it will update the contrast. But honestly, I, I couldn't spot any difference in the look. Maybe it's not working for now and Google will implement this feature later on. So now we are done with the features and let's talk about the performance and the stability. Performance wise, it's much better when compared to beta one and much more responsive as well. But when it comes to bugs and issues, I don't recommend installing this build on your daily driver by any means because the phone freezed completely three times while filming this video. And for me to go out of this state, I have to press the power and volume up together for about 30 seconds, which will force restart the device. So it might happen to you in random situations and will let you repeat everything you already did. So I don't recommend installing it at least for now. And battery wise, it doesn't look promising either because I have only two hours of a screen on time while losing 51% battery and my phone is connected to Wi-Fi most of the time. So again, the battery life will be much worse when compared to the stable version. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features in Android 14 beta 2. If you spotted anything that I didn't mention in this video, please let me know in the comments below or reach me out on social media. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you the next video.